Hi, this is a short video showing how to use the Holly Digital Dash with the Holly Sniper system. I'll turn the key on here. We'll go through the power up sequence for the Digital Dash. Usually takes about a second. I usually let the dash boot up before I start the engine. Here you can see the various uh, sensors that I've put onto this dash. This is a custom version of the dash. There's pre-built menus in the dash as it comes from Holly. So you can scroll through here. This is a popular configuration. Some of these other ones may or may not appeal to you. I like this one. I built this just so I could do diagnostics and view a lot of information on the dash. This is a lot more information than you'll get from the handheld. Um, it might be a little too busy to read while you're driving, but it's nice just to sit in the car and see where everything is at. Or if you're at a stoplight, you can quick look at it and see if everything is looking correct. I have an AccuSump in the car, so I'll hit the AccuSump switch and that will give us oil pressure down in the oil in the lower right corner. You can see the oil pressure is coming up and then we'll just go ahead and start the engine.
increase the dash in some vehicles, but this is an older car and there isn't a retrofit kit available for it. There we go, we are got a little above 160 on the CTS and now you can see that learn status light is on and now we're seeing the learn percentage vary a little bit. The CTS in Richmond is stopped so it's 100%. Still a little bit of air in Richmond. Probably have air in Richmond until I start driving the car. Anyway, that's the end of this. I just wanted to show a start up and a warm up of the Sniper EFI system on a performance engine using the digital